So Matthew chapter 6 verse 1. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they have glory of men. Very I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest thou alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand is doing, that thy alms may be in secret, and thy father which sees in secret himself, and reward thee openly. <clears throat> and when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogue, and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and the Father which sees in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Verse 16 Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto thee, I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head, and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto the Father which is in secret, and the Father which sees secret shall reward thee openly. Now the main context of what we just read in Matthew is God does not want a show off. Somebody to do something. Look at me. And again, I have nobody in mind. I'm going to give you some examples of what I've seen and I don't know. I'm, it could be true and may not be true, but you'll see in the media You'll see this celebrity, this person, is at a food kitchen. And he's serving food to the homeless. Well, what would he do if the cameras were off? A person goes in the grocery store and hands somebody some money at the checkout. Well, the cameras are on. And there are people who take their phones and take a picture. Look, look what I'm doing. And there are people in the church who will get up and sing just so you can glorify them and not God. And there are some people, you know, they pray and it's like, it's a whole message itself. A lot of times you can tell they don't pray. And what the whole idea is, don't make people applaud you. Don't make people look at you like, wow, look how good you are. Wasn't that a great performance? And I've heard that word in the churches. You know, where, where the altars become a stage. That was a great performance. Yeah, no, that's not what you're there for. Listen, I've heard some people who couldn't carry a tune and got up and sang to the glory of God and God was well pleased. There are people in your church you don't even know. And they're praying for you. They're praying for the church and the people of the church you don't even know. I got one guy that comes to me and says, listen, I'm, I'm praying for you, Stiley. And I've said to and, I, and they're not saying, hey, you know, look at me. I'm not saying, oh, you know, look at me, you know, I, I, I pray for you this week. No, it's they're encouraging you. And there's a difference between encouraging the brethren than look at me. The me, myself, and I. And it's not about you. 
And when you give money, I have heard, but I've never seen this, but I heard, you know, there's some churches, you know, they get up and they do the dollar dance. You know, the march around, they put a dollar in the play. And then they have the five dollar. And then they do the ten dollar march around. And they do the twenty, and they keep going to the to one person, you know, he'll give a hundred dollars. He's the only one that gets up and would put a hundred dollars in the plate. And he's doing it maybe not for a show off, but look at me. Everybody would be looking, hey, look how much money he's giving. I have seen personally people who have put an offering envelope in the plate and there was nothing in it. I've heard people get up to the pulpit and give a message and it's about how well they are. How well did they do? Look at me. Look what I know. And it's not about you. It's the Holy Spirit working in you. Whether you know, we were talking about today, whether you are a loud mouth preacher or a, or a silent mouse. There is power when you're not doing it for a performance, but you are doing it of the work of the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit lays on your heart that what's ever in your pocket, put it into play, and you're not doing it for people to look at you, and you're not praying just because, oh, you don't hear me. Hear how eloquent I am. There are people that walk into your church and you don't realize it, but they've been fasting. They don't look like it. Now, he gives an example here, you know, Oh, look at my face. I'm so miserable. I haven't had any food. Oh, no, that's not what you do. He says, wash your face, put anointing oil on you, and put a happy face on. That people can't tell, but the Father can. You might be the most unspoken person in the church. But that person may be a prayer. That person maybe God listens to. Listen, don't get so naive to think, okay, things are going well in your life that God's listening to you pray. No, it may be somebody in your church. It may be your pastor. It may be somebody who sits behind you you don't even know. We are not to put a show on. Look at what I am doing. God, aren't you pleased? You know, it, I really think it aggravates the Lord. I don't even think the Lord pays attention to it. Like prayer. How many times have you watched a TV movie... A TV program, and there's that family, or whatever it is, and you know somebody prays and they're thanking the Lord for the food, or whatever it is. They got this scripted prayer. They got in the script that they're going to take money and put it in the plate. God don't honor that. That's for your entertainment. And when it comes to giving to God, when it comes to praying to God, and when it comes to fasting of God, it's not about entertainment. It's about a glorify, glorifying Father in Heaven, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit saying, that unknown man or woman in the church or that the world hates, he pleases me. And you may get up there with a talent and all that and you, you're waxing elegant and God's probably up in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> He said about the Laodicean church age, you want me to, you you make me want to vomit. You say how great you are, how wonderful you are, how you don't, and, and God's like, make me sick, mark bag. And that's how God feels. 
There are some people that do something just because the pastor. That's not the glory and honor to Father. That's before a man. There are people who will do something because others will be watching them. And they might be looking for a position in the church. They might be looking for some gratification. They may look, out a boy. Good job. Well, how about having Jesus Christ tell you, Christian, well done? Would you rather have a human sinner say, well done? Would you rather have the Lord Jesus Christ tell you, well done? Would you like to have your church in glory with you and to see, hey, I never knew he did that. I didn't know he put money in the plate for our family. I didn't know he did that. And what you don't know, God will know. And Jesus said you'll get a reward. But if you do it for the gra gratification of man, by man, that applause, yay, out of way, good, yeah, that was a good performance. That, that was all you get. And that don't last forever. But when you get a crown, you get that all eternity. And that person, for whatever you did, whatever prayer, whatever money, or whatever it was, the, the fasting, you got people that are thankful. And you have a God in heaven, your heavenly Father, well pleased. And you get a well done, thou good and faithful servant. 